Mike's Daily Podcast. F F F episode 1107. Six, I mean. I got a little off. Hey, yesterday was 6 16 16. Did you notice that on the calendar? That was interesting, huh? It's Mike Matthews podcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Mike's. Daily Podcast. Podcastro Valley. It's a real place, sort of. And uh, what else do I usually say here? Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh, um, I am a big fan of Tara Palmari. She's a correspondent on CNBC. And uh, if you see her, you'll see she's really pretty. But she also did something. Um, what? You'll have to see. It's on the internet. It's like the first thing that comes up when you type in her name. Mike's Daily Podcast. Apparently, she, during a press conference with Sean Penn back in 2010, Mike's asked him a question about what he thought about his critics. And he said, he replied to her, I don't want to participate in the culture that you are trying to perpetuate. He said something eloquent like that. And then they uh, forced her out of the press conference. It was actually a press conference supposed to be for Haiti. And then she came in asking a a question about something he had said recently. And, well, anyway. Somehow that catapulted her to cable news TV. Tara Palmari. But when you see her, you're going to go, oh my gosh. Is this girl, this girl looks like an actress or something. Like she'd be on the CW. Okay, I thought I'd share that with you. We're broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley. And this is F- F- episode 1116. I'm Mike Matthews. Today, we're going to have some characters stop by. I think we got Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. Yes, we do. We also have the segment Jarell Namay. Some interesting things Jarell and I cover. I had some Lagunitas beer yesterday. The typical bottled IPA that they sell. I think Lagunitas is Spanish for burnt Brussels sprouts. Because, like, I drink it, you know, I had a couple sips, and I'm like, oh, this is good. And then I started getting this aftertaste of burnt Brussels sprouts in my mouth. Look, I just walked in. Hi, Mike. How y'all doing? It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. And it's a disgruntled fiddle player telling you what. What? Why y'all talking about burnt Brussels sprouts? I hate non-burnt Brussels sprouts. I hate Brussels sprouts, period. What I'm talking about. Well, yeah, yeah. It's weird. I, I, maybe it's the hops that they do. Maybe that's the Lagunitas thing. I don't know. I've been to Lagunitas Brewery up in Petaluma and have enjoyed it. You can bring your dog. You can bring your dog on the tour. It's very cool. The tatted up woman that did the tour, she was like, oh, your dog's cute, you know, and then the tour happened and... And they actually let me bring the dog into the facility where they make the beer. That was interesting. And then she said, you can walk up the stairs there and check out all the vats we have and whatnot. But I'll tell you right now, your dog's not going to want to go up there. Because it was those steps that are made out of iron, but it's kind of like or metal of some sort some sort of alloy look who else just walked in but they're all kind of mesh it's like a mesh you can see through it when you look down and dogs can't walk on that because they get they they try and step on it and it looks like they're trying to step on the air for them i guess because they don't want to have anything to do with it so basil just stayed down at the bottom while i looked at the vats speaking of vats hello my gimmick the earth man the brewmaster oh boy i hate vats you don't use vats when you make your root beer? No, I can't fall in them. Ah! Oh, that sounds scary. Do you have a burnt Brussels sprout root beer, brewmaster? Yeah. I, why does that not surprise me? I don't know. I'm not inside your head. Oh, boy. Okay, well, you know what? That's good that you're not inside my I don't want you to get inside my head either. Like the news. The news lately has been the Jetsons style Mini Cooper. That's what the Jetsons car sounds like. Uh, the BMW unveils the Jetsons style Mini Cooper. The Jetsons style. It looks like a. How funny. And that's all the news I want to cover today. I don't really want to go into all this 
uh, interesting news about oh, that hor- that horrible that that politician got killed in England, and apparently it was a gun. The killer got the gun off of some white supremacist how to make a gun website. That's that makes us look great to the rest of the world. Thanks. It's going to be 117 in Palm Springs this summer. Pack your bags. Get ready to go. They're making a movie out of Wicked. Ah, oh, finally I'll have a chance to see it because I wasn't going to pay tickets in the movie theater to see it. I'll wait till it gets on Netflix. Oh, and by the way, if you were wondering, back in uh, on this date, Batman Forever opened in theaters. Bat nipples. Mm-hmm. And something happened with Vlad the Bad, the the basis for uh, Dracula. He probably killed a lot of people on this date. Okay, that's all the news today. And then uh, Jarrell and I cover some in Jarrell Name. Isn't that exciting, Benita? Mike, that's great. I hear you all might be going to Santa Cruz today. I'm I'm planning on it. We'll see if that happens or not. I've got I've got my bathing suit. I'm gonna leave right after work. I've been looking forward to this all week. I can't wait. I haven't been to Santa Cruz in years, so. Mark, when you go to Santa Cruz, why don't you say hi to all the beautiful women? I want to slap you. What? Uh, you're the most beautiful woman in the world. They're just like minions to you. Thank you. Let's go. Bye, oh, bye. Hey, my husband. I hope they work that out. The thing is, is I was talking to a friend of mine. Said a woman had hurt his pride. Oh, wait, I went into a, 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 what do you call it? Tom Petty tune. No, I I was talking to a friend. You know, it's interesting when you have friends that take the other side of your story. You know, when you you tell a story to a friend and, and you've had a bad situation happen to you, you want your friend to commiserate, right? Not take the op- the other side, like, like... The, them going, yeah, you deserved that situation happening to you. That happened with my ex-wife all the time. She'd take the other the opposite view constantly. It was like, it, you know, it's all right. I understand, you know, friends, they'll tell you straight. You know, real friend will tell you the real situation. But once in a while, you need someone to commiserate, right? That was that whole women are from Venus, men are from Mars dealio. That they were trying to tell men, hey, guys. When your woman is trying to tell you a story about their bad day, don't try and like solve the problems that they had that they had in the day for them. Commiserate. It's to be sentiment. Sent sediments. Wait, that was the last show. Talk to them. Hear them. Let them vent, and then offer your support. But I enjoy uh, my friend who completely takes the opposite view and does not offer support. So that's. That happens, right? You have friends like that? That's great. All right. Let's get on with the Jarell Name. Uh, by the way, mikesdailypodcast.com is where you can go to check out all the past podcasts and the podcast picture. Ooh, let's take a look at that. And here's today's podcast picture. I am a huge fan of Marinas at Night. Girls named Marina at night. No, I like Marina's, the actual place with the boots at nighttime because I like the lights dancing off the water. So San Leandro Marina is the closest marina to me in the Bay Area. And so I, I was there a couple months back. Maybe this was a year ago. I don't know. But I took a picture and there you can see it. Mike's Daily Podcast.com. So nice with the lights on the water. That restaurant, though, ugh, so expensive. And they're one of those restaurants that they don't, they take the food away while you're still eating it. Yeah, that's great. Are you done with that? Yeah, thanks. I took a, I took, I had a, a gift certificate from my other job, my other radio job. They actually gave me uh, at Christmas time a restaurant gift certificate. And I went to this restaurant yesterday, uh, not the one by the marina, but a different one. And the lady there, the waitress. Anyway. No, she just was, I, uh, ah, you know, it's not easy being a food server, but she was particularly, I don't know, I got a weird vibe. You ever get weird vibes off your food server and you don't know why? Oh, 
did you just take the other side and say maybe it was something maybe I was thinking or something? No, I showered that day. Anyway, the opposite view is welcomed. Whatever your view, you can email me, Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. We read your comments on the section emails from email and your common not so comments. You can comment there on we're on Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and all over the place. Check out all the places you can find me at Mike's Daily Podcast.com. Support the show through the Amazon link. Click on that and buy whatever you're gonna buy and that helps us out. There's also the PayPal if you want to donate. You'll get a special greeting from all the Cafe Anyway characters and right about now you're going, wow, Mike talks fast. <sighs> Time for Jeronome. Jeronome. Hey, we've closed all the doors in the studio so we can record a thing. Hey, hey, hey. So Jeronome is what we're doing. How's it going, Jarell? Um, I think it's going okay. Um, well, the lights are on, the walls are up, the 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 ceilings up. And there haven't been any other earthquakes. Have you had any response to being on my podcast? Not yet. I don't really have that many circle of friends, and most of them are busy to begin with. Uh, but on Facebook, I've tagged you, so people can like go, hey, Jarrell. And then they probably looked at that and just said, oh, great, there goes Looney Boy again. Now, well, you're not Looney. You can... Do all kinds of things. Unloony like No wait. You do have an interesting way of doing things. You uh you 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 think in terms of electronic you ever like take something apart electronically, like take a computer apart and look at its innards and you know all that? I did that three weeks ago when I had to replace the hard drive in my laptop. How did you learn how to do that? That seems so complicated. I just watch YouTube videos. That, that's you know what? Actually, you're right. In this world of YouTube, you you can because like I had to figure out why my refrigerator. I came to you with this problem months ago. Remember, my fridge was freezing everything on the side that it's the non freezer side. Yes, I do. And I was like, well, "Do you know how to?" And you said, "I don't know. You probably need a blah blah blah." And you had like a million things that I didn't know what you're talking about. And then it turned out I turned the refrigerator off. In in essence, rebooting it and turned it back on. And thanks for holding my phone to record me while we're doing this interview, by the way. Hey, I figured you could use a break because as the interviewer a lot of times, you know, your arm gets tired. And you figure since I'm a technician myself, maybe I could do the job of holding the mic once in a while. That happened to me. I think when I was doing, oh, who was I interviewing? Uh, it, uh, I can't. Think, I think it was the band, the Go Ahead. They were sitting across the table from me, and I was holding my arm up just like you're doing right now. And that gets hard to do after a while, just holding it straight out like that and holding the phone up. Maybe. Yes, but it's good workout for your deltoid muscles, yeah. you know. Yeah, I felt, it. and you know, actually, the more I do it, the less it hurts. So that shows you muscles work. No pain, no gain, right? Exactly, Arnold. Arnold Schwarzenegger, no pain, no feels a burn. So when he says that, he, that must be, I'll be back. To, is he going to actually exercise his deltoids? By the way, Arnold, big fan. <laughs> you know, I wonder. And then it, when he said feel the burn, and then all the Bernie Sanders supporters took that. But Arnold was a politician too. So, But it looks like he's out of that. But in the movie Batman and Robin, I don't think his character would want to feel the burn. Because he was... Mr. Freeze. What was your favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? Jarrell. Let me see. I mean, there's quite a few of them. In, in Terminator 3, I Whoa. actually thought that was cool. And Mike almost just <laughs> fell out of a chair because apparently there is no locking mechanism to uh, keep it from doing that. And it's probably been worn out anyway. So, therefore, I can't fix everything. And... <laughs> The thing is, is I can, f I can oh, fix good. some electronics, I but not all it. of them. Oh, you locked it. I locked it somehow. Okay. Okay, so Mike locked it, so therefore he won't fall out of the chair and then file workman's comp. Yeah, I think they would have said it's my own fault anyway, since we actually recorded the whole... Anyway, yeah, your favorite Arnold was... See, now I'm trying to think what my favorite was. I mean, Terminator was so memorable. Um, kindergartner cop. Kindergarten cop? 
It's not a tumor. That was pretty funny. I don't remember that one, but there was another uh, movie he played in called Jack Slater. I thought that was pretty funny. It was the one where it was the golden ticket. You could actually travel to different dimensions. What? I never seen that one. They even played the the drop to the Twilight Zone track. What? The do do do. Wait, well, everybody uses do 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 do. Yeah, but just the bare fact when the miscreant who had the ticket, he was just about to lean on the wall, and he saw that he was like, "What the heck?" And that's when they just dropped that cut. Oh, so that was the memorable part for you. The part that probably took them. Well, they probably had to pay a lot of money to clear it through. Paramount, whoever owns that. Uh, oh, yeah, they probably did. But the also fun part was, oh, the fun part when there, there was a funeral on top of a roof of a building. and But, the, see, the thing was there was a bomb on, rigged on the, the corpse via a uh, wristwatch. And so then Arnold's trying to get this guy out of there before the bomb goes off and kills everybody. So then he fakes like the dude's still alive, jump, grabs the dude, hauls him on his shoulder, and then right when he's trying to get away, almost everybody at the funeral is just like packing heat. They've got Uzis, they've got MP5s, they've got handguns, all ready to just light Arnold's character up. And he takes the ultimate leap of faith, jumping off the building... He was like, I'm going to die anyway, so you know what? I might as well just do it while with the last few moments of my life. But he ends up, because he's in, he's in L.A., he ends up, he and the corpse end up falling into the La Brea tar pits. And uh, ultimately, the bomb explodes in the tar pits. So, you know, everybody survives. I've been to La Brea tar pits. I used to go there a lot with my dad. There's a neat little museum. They're, you know, all these ancient uh, prehistoric, well, they're not dinosaurs. They're like uh, mammoths. And they actually found one human in there. But, yeah, it's uh, La Brea Tar Pits. And that part of L.A. has really exploded. There's, like, a car museum down there and all kinds of – there's an art museum. Ooh, right next to the Tar Pits, now that you brought it up, I saw King Tut. I went to the King Tut exhibit when it came to L.A. I was, like, uh, eight years old, I think, eight or or nine. So you got me on a tangent. So somehow he survives – the fall by falling into a tar pit and the explosion going off. Amazing. Yep, there was this huge bubble, you know, that, you know, because of the pressure that the, you know, the explosives gave off, but it did not burst the bubble. What a fantastic Jarell Name movie suggestion. Even though it has nothing to do with anime at all. <laughs> we should probably say something about anime while we're talking on your segment. Because we call it anime. So last time we talked about uh, Pikachu and Pokemon. Uh, any other? And you said Cowboy Bebop is good to watch. And- oh yeah, Cowboy Bebop. So for those of you who are really into like uh, jazz, because there's the, the score for Cowboy Bebop is jazz music, and especially the opening theme. T- 